on you guys. So if you guys would have watched my last video, you guys would have seen that I recently just got a uh, carbon fiber spoiler on the 86. Today's video is going to be sort of more laid back. Um, I kind of just wanted to do a few things that I've been contemplating doing on the car for a little while now. Um, I want to actually get that ceramic coated. That way I don't have to run any issues with any sun fading or like sun damage on that spoiler. Um, if you guys actually have a GR86 or a BRZ, you may actually already know that these cars come with a charcoal filter, I believe is what it's called. And deleting that supposedly gives the car like five extra horsepower. Now, I don't know whether or not I believe that. There have been dynographs to prove that it actually does make a slight increase in horsepower. Um, I'm not really doing it, honestly, for the horsepower. I kind of just wanted to see if it makes any sort of difference, like whatsoever. People say this removing this charcoal filter is almost similar to buying an intake for this car. <laughs> Pretty much just the same thing, because I mean, honestly, NA cars don't really do much whenever you add an intake or do anything like that, add a filter, stuff like that. Um, so I kind of just wanted to see if removing this charcoal filter does any sort of difference for the car. I have been told that you don't need to get a tune or do any sort of things like that. Um, doesn't throw up any check engine lights. Uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll get the car actually backed up into the garage. That way it's a lot easier. necessary to get this air box off and then we'll start to getting the charcoal filter removed. So if you guys actually wanted to do this yourself, if you have a GR86 or a BRZ, it's honestly a super simple process. There's already a few videos out explaining how to do this, but I figured I'd just make a quick how to honestly just how to do this and then I'll give you guys honestly my honest opinion if I feel any sort of difference I honestly don't think I'm going to but I'd like to just try this out and just see so we'll get started and I'll show you guys how to remove the charcoal filter so I actually put you guys on my head mount that way it's a little bit easier for me to actually work and show you guys what I'm doing so the first thing you're gonna want to do is start off by taking off this map hair hose sensor so you're gonna get this right here and then there's gonna be two little clips that you're gonna to wanna to take off. That right here, I can get this thing off, hold on. Let me see if I can get it off without breaking it already. And then you're gonna to wanna to just set this aside for now. I'll just leave this right there for now. Then you're gonna to wanna to get a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the Phillips head that clamps down the air intake box. And you're gonna to wanna to just tight unloosen it. You can loosen the screw enough where it still stays on, but it's loose enough to move the actual clamp around. Next, what you're gonna to wanna to do is just remove the two clamps that are on top of the air box, just like so. You now should be able to remove the air filter box from the intake assembly. So let me see if I can get this squeezed off without damaging anything. Just like so. And here is the charcoal filter. All right, you guys, to get the charcoal filter removed, you're gonna wanna grab a flathead screwdriver and just kinda go along the edges of the filter. It's glued in place, so once you get one of the edges up, you honestly should be able to just go by your hand and tear the rest of it out. So I'll get the charcoal filter removed and I'll show you guys what you gotta do from then. So 
So I just got finished cleaning most of what I can out. Um, it's not gonna be perfect, honestly. This is about 30 minutes of me trying to clean it. I would advise if you do, do decide to do this, definitely like clean this thing out with some like grease cleaner <coughs> or just whatever sort of cleaner you have. Um, just be careful though, you don't wanna get it too wet in here. And so just be careful when you're cleaning it and um, I would definitely advise you do that. That way nothing gets sucked up into your engine. All right, you guys, so we got the air filter box all cleaned out now. We use some degreaser to get all the crud around from all the outsides of the corners. So what you're gonna do first, is you're gonna wanna put this air filter box back into the piping, the air intake, like so, just like so. And then you're gonna wanna put the box back onto the filter, just like so. Make sure it's on on every corner. I don't think it's on on the bottom though, which is the problem. I think it's on. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, no, it's on. Alrighty, and then what you're gonna wanna do, get the clamps, put the clamps back on like so. Make sure everything is tightened, nothing's loose. Next, what you guys wanna do is plug in the mass airflow sensor like so, and just make sure that it's held in place. You'll hear when you hear the little snap noise of it clicking back into place. Then you're gonna to wanna to grab a Phillips head screwdriver and tighten down the clamp for the air intake box, like so. Just tighten this up. Alrighty. And that should be it, you guys. Everything should be good. Here's a final look. For those of you who are curious too, this is how thick this charcoal filter is. You literally can't even see in it. You could barely see the lighting through this thing. That's how thick this thing is. Honestly, if it made any difference, 
removing this charcoal filter. So we'll go through some of these corners right here and see if I can feel any bit of a difference. Wait for some of these cars to slow down a little more. opinion but like damn sounds now with the uh, charcoal filter deleted because it clearly oh my gosh bro <laughs> that sounds insane man Just for the sound alone, I honestly think it's worth you doing it. 
the throttle response as well like going between gears like it feels like it's a lot more peppier and as soon as i put the throttle down it seems like it wants to respond which is amazing and it feels great a lot better than what it did stock this light I'm gonna see if I can get the Camaro behind me and see if maybe he'd want to do maybe a few runs I don't know I have a feeling I'm gonna get walked anyways but <laughs> insane right now man holy crap <laughs> I'm gonna do a few pops and maybe see if I can get some reactions to people of what they think of the car <laughs> There's a state trooper right in front of me, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, bro. There's the cop right there. That was right in front of us. Bro, what is this dude doing? This road is horrible. road is horrible god so many cops too bro Sounds and 
hardest part was honestly clearing out the filter afterwards or clearing out the air box just to ensure that nothing gets inside the engine. That was honestly what took the longest time. Just making sure it was clean and there was no residue left. do now is I'm gonna get the car washed because like I said earlier it's completely filthy like everything is on this car is just completely dirty it doesn't really seem like it on camera but like if you get really close up to it though you can <laughs> you can definitely tell that it's 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 pretty dirty so I'm gonna get the stuff out that I need to wash the car and I'll actually I think I even have ceramic coating stuff I'm gonna probably try and get the wing ceramic coated and if it doesn't get too dark out Maybe try and do the wheels if I have time. So we'll get the car washed and we'll get started with ceramic coating the wing. So we got the car all washed now. I'm gonna get some of this chemical guys, ceramic coating wax. I haven't really tried it before. I'm gonna give it a shot now and see how well that works. I'm gonna be applying it to the uh, carbon fiber spoiler. And then maybe honestly even the mirrors and the vents on the side if I, can, if I can. I don't know how well this stuff's gonna work. This is gonna be my first time using it. This stuff's like the uh, stuff that you can put on the applicator pad and then let it sit for a second and then just wipe off with the microfiber towel instead of using the actual buffing pad and everything. So I'm gonna give this a shot. Should be a lot faster than the normal way of me doing it. And then um, I'll get some cinematics, how the spoiler looks afterwards. While this stuff is drying on the spoiler. I figure I might as well start working on the mirrors and the vents on the side. Right, you guys what do you guys think here it is full spoiler done and then we got the mirrors all finished up now honestly I could wipe them down a little bit more they still look a little hazy from the uh, ceramic coating wax and then we also have the, uh, the vents on the side it's looking good it's looking good all right you guys so we got the car pulled back into the garage now this is probably where I'm going to end it off for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed, please make sure to give it a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. That way you guys can stay up to date on all the content that I'm always putting out. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.